What is up guys? Welcome back to Pep's Got the Tea. Today we're here to tap into the energy of our earth signs for this full moon. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell if this is your story. that the most high we're gonna happen to your guys obstacles um what's being hidden and what's being revealed through this full moon in pisces so what are the obstacles for my earth signs Okay, so what's being revealed? Said, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. This your story. Ooh. All right. <laughs> so the obstacles of my earth signs. I definitely see that um, things are moving a bit slow for your liking right now. Um, some of you guys might even feel like you have lost your passion for a lot of things. Some of you guys just might, in fact, be having an issue with a fire sign, a Leo Aries, or a Sagittarius. Um, someone can be. I'm hearing like manipulative. You know, a bit conniving. Um, get into this Queen of Wands or Aries. Okay, so whoever this person is, this person procrastinates. This person might be greedy. And this person might not be that um, well-rounded in handling money. Like, so they can have financial issues. All right, but I do see a lot of my um, earth signs are really trying to see what it is that you guys love. Um, some of you might be having issues seeing the bigger picture, you know, knowing that things are going to work out for your best. Um, yeah, a lot of you guys might be a little bit self-conscious right now, um, frustrated with work or frustrated with your finances, and y'all have been overthinking really bad. Some of y'all are really caring a bit much about what other people would say as well. I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to really stay strong right now too Catalina. y'all really trying to stay strong right now but y'all know y'all about to have that moment where everything hits y'all at once because y'all like to suppress stuff yeah it's time for y'all to like to like really move in y'all truth and i feel like you guys have been um easily irritated by people as well and everything that's going on you guys feel like you know like damn this cannot be real. Like, so y'all feeling um very just in disbelief about everything that's going on. So what's being hidden? Clarify this nine of pentacles in reverse. I feel like um clarify this. Alright, so what's being hidden? I definitely see someone is really feeling like um, it's best to probably be by themselves. Maybe someone is a bit concerned about finances if they were to separate from something or somebody. But I definitely feel like, um, and it's funny, the Ten of Cups is in reverse. So it's like someone's just not happy with them, you know, a partnership. 
And I mean, shit, you lost the cup, but for the most part, you're happy with yourself. A lot of y'all are not realizing that y'all would be happier. Maybe y'all are realizing. But this is in the hidden section. So y'all not realizing that maybe some time alone is necessary. Um, page of Wands. This is really telling me that um, someone's putting in like minimum effort in regards to not giving to something. So somebody could have fell into temptation and just lost control of the situation. It's definitely heartbreak behind that. Yeah, what's hidden is that somebody is slowly moving away too. <clears throat> Y'all came out, Queen of Pentacles. So for my feminists, I definitely feel like a lot of you guys might be moving away from situations and moving towards, um, you know, thugging it out by yourself. Yeah, if I just Holy Spirit. Yeah, what's hidden is that um, a lot of things are, yeah. I feel like what's hidden also is that something just isn't working out. So this could be repeatedly trying to, and I'm not trying to promote core, but. <sighs> it's like you try and you try and you try, even when you eliminate outside factors, you know, third parties, this shit just still is not working. Um, clear for this page of swords. Some of y'all too, y'all got y'all family watching y'all. If it's not y'all family, it's the family of whoever you're dealing with. And they're like, it's a lot of conflict behind the scenes, heartbreak. People thinking, making decisions. Yeah, people seeing that whatever they've been dealing with is not what they want. It's been a lot of tower moments happening behind the scenes. People have cut communication with each other. Um, toxicity has been removed from certain situations. Will of fortune in reverse. This gives me vibes that it's been a lot of, yeah, a lot of stuff starting back up. So, you know, this four moon in Pisces is about revealing. Yeah, so something came up in regards to somebody, whoever they were dealing with, it came up that somebody started back something. So this could be cheating. This could be talking back to somebody. Um, clarify this. This could be just restarting some type of cycle over that someone promised, you know, to get rid of. And it's like somebody really been weighing their options. And I definitely feel like um, whatever a person has done in regards to what they started back up. I feel like you guys would deem that as this person not having as much love for you as you thought they did. What's hidden as well is that some of you guys don't even see that you literally have love right around you. So, okay. So what's gonna come to the light as a result of this full moon? Some of y'all gonna find out. <clears throat> okay. Some of y'all, um, let me see. Some of y'all going to find out that there were definitely some endings around you guys. Yeah, your intuition has been, um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Your intuition putting you on point about endings around you. Yep. So you can be seeing triple nine. Some of y'all have been picking up on somebody's emotions, so y'all been very frustrated or probably emotional. And that's somebody else's emotion that y'all picking up on. It's also gonna come out that somebody has been like, you know, they've been down about you. What's this Ace of Swords in reverse? This person, what's that song playing? <clears throat> I like the way you move. Whoever this is, this person, they very much admire how you play the game. I'm hearing chestnut checkers. They're very impressed about how you play the game. And I feel like um, this person has been living a lie. And they're going to come forward. This could be a Leo Aries Sagittarius. But this could be somebody that's just super passionate about you guys. They're going to come forward and give you your due justice. 
And somebody, somebody got a little relationship coming in. Somebody about to offer their love. <laughs> it's so pure. Yep. Yeah, this could have been um, a sneaky link. <laughs> or this could even be this person that's sneaking back to offer this. What the fuck is they sneaking for? Hold up. This person could be sneaking because they having to be patient. They win their options with two situations, I feel like. But they are in the midst of making a decision. They got in their head about it. <laughs> well, yeah, so some of y'all got um, new beginnings, triple one coming, so congratulations. And I feel like you guys have a lot of success coming. So if you haven't been feeling like you've been in your regular energy, you are about to return to that. And you're going to see what's worth holding on to. you also going to see what's been having a hold on you. Also, y'all gonna have <coughs> this is funny. Some of y'all gonna have a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. I feel like y'all gonna find out somebody got a divorce. Somebody felt like whoever they was dealing with, <coughs> they were a great person. But I feel like by the end of the marriage or the relationship, um, things had gotten so bad that both parties actually ended up losing more than they gained. <coughs> yep. And this just going to make it real obvious that long-term partnerships, it's just going to reveal a lot. Yeah, so I definitely feel like somebody is definitely walking away or have walked away because they're tired. But I definitely feel like success is very much assured for you guys. There it is. Yep. Some of y'all going to find out why somebody was acting very detached to or some of y'all going to find out that somebody declined an offer from somebody and came towards you. So what's the advice for my earth signs and it's full moon? Y'all is cutting up. Hey. Goodness. I forgive myself for holding on to the need to be right. Until today, you may not have been aware that you still need external validation to feel good about yourself. But just for today, surrender what you believe is wrong with you. And you'll never again feel the need to be right. <coughs> uh-uh, not my baby. Get back. Not my baby chips, I am sorry. I should touch it again. That's a crazy. It's for a moment that happened. The animals go crazy. Let's see. Let's get some advice for y'all. If I don't ask for what I want, the need will keep getting bigger. So until today, you may have thought that you had to do it all alone. But just for today, ask for what you need and know that it's okay to do so. So, yeah, so I feel like some of you guys might feel selfish for expressing your needs. But it's like, it has to be a balance. I cannot judge my clarity based on someone else's response. Until today, you may have felt the need to have those around you approve of your ideas, insights, and revelations. But just for today, allow yourself the privilege of beacon in the spiritual light of your own heart. So what this saying is some of y'all might have been experiencing situations where y'all felt something for a situation or within a situation or for a person. And people was like crazy, but it's like, you know what you do, you know what you know. And I feel like you guys um, are gonna be proven right in a lot of situations. One more. I take the time to deal with unpleasant memories. <clears throat> oh my God. <laughs> I 
All right, so some of you guys need to just deal with whatever trauma you guys are holding on to. I feel like that makes you like, I don't know. Some of you guys might stay in situations way longer than necessary because it's like you don't want to give up on somebody. Maybe you guys have um, witnessed or endured a sense of abandonment. And it's like that's kind of a trauma for some of you guys. So it's like that's why like we'll hold on to things longer or... In the world. Say like if we ate like I use the example of me. Remember them big old king size Twix, and they used to be like just super long, like foot long Twix. Candy got small over the days, but over the years. But say like you ate twelve of those, stomach hurting, can't go to the hospital. You just all night messed up. Later in life, you probably be scared to even eat chocolate. So it's like certain things have a long term effect on. Um, in regards to your preferences and your actions so take the time to deal with those memories thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if this is your story